Hello, in this video, I will explain to you about maximum power transfer. So, we need to find out two things here. So, our goal is to find out the load resistance that makes the power transfer maximum. So, we need to find out RL here. The first one is to find out RL. And the second one is the power maximum. The maximum power that caused by this resistance here or p max right so that is our two goals we need to find out rl and also we need to find out p max okay and the steps will be the first thing that we need to do is to find out the tevenin equivalent but for that we need to find out the tevenin voltage find pdh right and what is VTH? VTH is open circuit voltage in the in the load resistance here. So I think we need to take out RL first. Okay, we have taken out the RL and now we have this as terminal A and this is terminal B. VTH is this open circuit voltage. However, we have this for ohm resistance here, right? There, is, there will be no current that goes into this path here. Why? Because there is no way to go. So that means that this, this node here has the same voltage as this terminal. Or we can just replace this resistor with short circuit. Like that. Okay. So we can easily calculate VTH from here. Right. I will use nodal analysis. So let's set this bottommost node here as our ground. So this is our ground or reference node. And that means that the voltage here will be zero, right? But then right off the bat, we have this is nine volt from the ground in this node, right? So we will have nine. And let's name this node as VA here because this is terminal A and so the voltage here will be VA, right? And then in this node here, we have 3 VX from the ground, right? So we will have 3 VX. And also we have VX is here. VX is the difference between this positive terminal. So we will have 9 and negative terminal. So we'll have VA. So VX is equal to 9 minus VA. And I think we are good to go. Let's assume the direction of the current. This will go to the right and this will go down. And I think we have only two currents here. So let's do KCL at PA here. KCL at PA. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out, right? The only current that goes in is that one. And that current is 9 minus VA. And that is a voltage. We need current, so we divide it by the resistance between them. So I will have 2 here. And that will equal to this current here. I will have VA. Then minus 3 VX. Right, VA is where the current comes from, 3VX is where the current goes to, divided by the resistance between them. So I will have 1 here. We can just cross multiply here, so we'll have 9 minus VA. And that will equal to 2VA, and then minus 6VX. Good. Now let's do some math here, so we will have 9 will equal to 3 VA, right? We move this minus VA to the right hand side and add them up with this. Then minus 6 VX. However, we know VX, right? VX is 9 minus VA. So we will have 6 multiplied by 9 minus VA. Good. Now we will have 9 that will equal to 3 VA minus 54, right? 6 multiplied by 9 is 6, 54, and then plus 6 VA. Good. 
Now, 54 plus 9, that will be 63, right? 63. And then we will have 9 VA. Therefore, we will have our VA here is equal to 7 volt. Good, but the question is not asking us about VTA, VA, but VTH. And what is VTH here? VTH is the difference between this node here and this node here. But this node is connected to VA here, right? So I will have VA and then minus this node here, terminal B, and it is connected to the ground or it is zero right so i will have pa minus zero so that will equal to va therefore pth is equal to seven volt right seven volt okay and so that is our first important value pth is equal to seven volt that is just the first step but the second thing that we need to find out is the Thevenin resistance. Find RTH. However, I will use another formula here. So RTH is equal to PTH divided by the Norton resistance, right? I N. So instead of directly finding PTH, I will find I here right because we have a dependent source so to make things simpler okay now let's do the second step which is finding rth using the norton current okay we need different circuit for that let's clean up our slide okay what is the norton current so the norton current is the short circuit current at the load resistance so I think we need to make this short circuit first. Okay, we made it short circuit and I n is this current here. So we will have I n and by finding by I n we can find RTH, right? Okay, now let's get things started. Let's set this here as our ground. So the voltage here will be zero, right? And then what else this was terminal a and this is terminal b right but then i want to make this i think i will name this as not c so the the voltage here will be pc here but then right off the bat we know that this is 9 volt from the ground so we'll have 9 and this not here is 3 vx from the ground right that will be 3 vx but then we also know that Vx is the difference between this and that. So we will have Vx is equal to 9 minus Vc. Good. Now let's do KCL. Assuming the direction of the current like this. This goes to the right. This goes down. And this goes to the right. We can do KCL at Vc. KCL at Vc. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out, right? The only current that goes in is that one. And that current is 9 minus Vc divided by the resistance between them, right? 9 is where the current comes from. Vc is where the current goes. And 2 is the resistance between them. Good. And that will equal to, I will have Vc minus 3 Vx, Vc minus 3 Vx divided by 1. Then what else? I will have this current that also goes out. So I will have plus Vc minus 0 divided by the resistance speed them, which is 4. Okay, we can multiply both sides here by 4. To get rid all of the denominator right so we'll have 18 minus 2 vc here and then i will have 4 vc okay and then minus 12 vx right minus 12 vx 
and then 4 and 4 will cancel each other so I will have 4 VC no not 4 VC that only VC 4 and 4 will cancel each other right there and so we will have 18 is equal to I think I will have 7 VC right 7 VC and then minus 12 px but remember px is 9 minus vc so we will have 18 my is equal to 7 vc minus 12 multiplied by 9 and then what is 9 minus vc good now i will have 18 is equal to 7 vc and then we will have minus 108 and then plus PC good and now we will have 126 I think yeah 126 is equal to this will be 12 PC right this will be 12 PC 12 PC so I will have 19 PC therefore we can get VC here I think I will use calculator for this 126 divided by 19 that will be 6.632 so I will have 6.632 and the unit will be in volt but then we can calculate i n from there right because i n is vc minus zero divided by the resistance between them i will have four but vc is this one so i'll have six minus six three two divided by four and therefore i will have i n here what is i n i n is this value here divided by four so we will have 1.658 1 point six five eight one point six five eight and the unit here will be in ampere but then we can calculate rth from that value here because the vth is 7 volt and i n is this value here i will have 1.6 5 8 ampere so i will have our rth that will equal to 7 okay 7 divided by 1.658 okay so i will have 4.222 so i have 4.222 ohm good we now have our vth and also we have our RTH and we can draw the circuit and find RL that cause the maximum power transfer then that is our third step which is draw the Thevenin equivalent right okay let's clean up our slide Okay, we have the original circuit here and the equivalent circuit is like this. We will have that VTH is 7 volt, right? So we will have VTH that will be 7 volt. And then we also have RTH which is 4.222. Okay, this is our RTH and that will be 4.222 ohm right but then we have one other component here in the terminal a and terminal b and that component is our load resistance right so i will have rl here And what is RL that cause max power transfer? RL that cause 
Tmax that will be equal to the Tevenin resistance. So we'll have RL is equal to RTH, and that means our RL here is 4.2220 ohm. Okay, and that is our goal. One of our goal achieved here. So we have our RL is equal to 4.2220 ohm. Good. Now, what is our Pmax? Pmax is, let me check the formula first. Pmax is Vth squared divided by 4 RL, right? And that means that we have Vth is 7 volts, so I will have 7 squared divided by 4 multiplied by 4.2. 2, 2, 2, right? And I think that is the task of our calculator instead of me calculating that. So let's do that. So we will have 7 squared divided by 4 multiplied by 4.222. And I will have 2.901. 2.901. And the unit? All the components here is in the SI unit. So this also will be in SI unit. And the unit is what here. So this is our second goal. So I will have 2.901. Okay. And this is our goal achieved. We have our RL here. And also we have our Pmax here. And I think that's all for this problem. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.